Gilson's rugged testing screens for over 80 years offer an effective way to quickly determine the gradation of ores, slags, mineral aggregates, and other coarse granular materials. Here are several maintenance tips to make your testing screen run smoothly for decades to come. Before using the testing screen, perform a quick visual inspection of the machine for damage or missing parts and make sure there's a sufficient amount of space around all sides of the machine for operation and maintenance. And check to make sure the unit is level and tightly bolted to its rigid foundation. Frequently lubricate the wrist pin assembly with a standard grease gun and high quality grease, taking care to wipe away excess grease and dirt. Access is through slots in the front of the top cover. Periodically lubricate the upper connecting rod bearings. Again, using a standard grease gun with high quality grease, access the connecting rod bearings through holes in the front of the top cover on the TS1, TS3, and TS4, and for the TS2 through ports on the lower sides of the machine case. Check the V-belt periodically for wear, tension, and alignment. It should neither be too tight nor too loose and should deflect about a quarter inch. Worn or frayed belts should be replaced immediately. Check the clamp rod assemblies for excessive wear. Push the clamp rods back and forth and side to side. If the clamp rods move more than 1 seconds of an inch in any direction, then the guide bearings need to be replaced. Examine the level and quality of the hydraulic oil. The reservoir should be filled to a quarter inch from the top, and the oil should appear clean. If the oil is dirty, replace it with medium viscosity hydraulic oil. Over time, the low pressure hydraulic pump used to clamp the screen trays may wear and develop leaks, especially under heavy use. Excessively worn or damaged pumps must be replaced, but the pump can often be refurbished using Gilson repair kits. Though this requires some disassembly, inspect the hydraulic cylinders, piston, and the two quad rings for wear. The manual has step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this. And keep the unit clean. Periodically clean accumulated dust off the inside and outside surfaces of the testing screen. Afterwards, check for those hydraulic leaks, cracked hoses, and frayed belts. For any questions about your Gilson testing screen, or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson technical support team.